Hey there, welcome to the second part of ChaiJS tutorial. In this video, we are going to look into the should part. And before that, if you haven't looked into the expect yet, I'll re uh, strongly recommend to go ahead and look because the examples will be taken uh, from that to explain the should part. So the first thing, first we need to expo import the should. Uh, should is a function. So we'll import it like this and let's start with the, our existing example of expect so for example we say expect test to be a we say string let's just see if it is pass yeah it does similar thing can be done with should is that saying that test should be a string let me see if it pass and it does so basically the should should come immediately after the uh, the object or anything we want to check okay uh, so that's the way we should do it for example we can say 10 sh should be a number okay and we run it done okay or we can also write as we used to write in expect is 10 should not be a string why am i doing that string okay it pass so we can chain it in a very similar way uh, we change the expect part of it okay uh, for example we can say 10 it should be a number but not a string okay let me go and check that and it's pass okay uh, so that's about the basic tests and chaining let's talk about how we do use shoulds with data types so for example i say false should be a boolean and let's see then for i have created this t bar in the previous example also it's an object so i can say t bar should be an object let's check it it pass okay similarly i can also check for function let's say this my obj so i can say my obj should be a function okay let's check works okay. and i can also since this is a constructed function in javascript we can say new my obj should be a object and say it pass we'll say if i write this function over here it will fail okay so i need to write object and it will pass so now object have properties so we can talk about properties of an object like we can say that t var should have a property which name with which is name okay and it does pass it now when we check the property there is an option of all or or so and and or so we can say t var should have any in this in this case we will not say property we will say key so we say if it is having either name or address this should pass so as of now it says me having name or age so it should pass or i i say age and address it should pass okay but if i write something other than this it will fail okay so it says name and age. similarly there is a 
uh, and part of it which says all key which says name and age it's passing right and the last part is about freezing the uh, object so i say as of now t bar should not be frozen this should also pass because t bar is not frozen yet and i can freeze the t bar and if i again say should not be frozen test should fail and it does if i remove the not part should be it will pass so that's the simplest way of using the should it's pretty much similar to expect but expect is a first thing that comes and you pass the object inside it should should come after the object and pretty much chaining all the chaining uh, happens in the similar way so i hope that's uh, um, actually clarify how we can use should in chai js uh, thanks a lot thanks for watching